Hello, and welcome to a discussion about my PHP framework called Infinity. Okay, I just want to give a quick talk and then we'll get into code. I'm going to try to keep this as close to 15 minutes as possible for YouTube. And so alarm will go off and I'll have to just cut it off and wind down. Okay, so another thing I wanted to say is that I created this to be as open to end as possible or as open as possible and I basically cherry picked everything that I liked and put it into my own format so why don't I just break down everything and take a look at it. Let's just start with the entry point of the application. Now the system will roll right out of the box um, just by specifying a base path. Okay and then there's three main settings okay so one is for the base path the other is for the initial model and controller set and the other is for a de environment type of development and production okay so as a base installation you get the home controller and model that's how I'm planning it right now okay so what is the developer or programmer concerned with basically models controllers and views Okay, and we basically have a universal loader, and it's accessible to every controller object that you create. Okay, so we'll see how this is portable in a moment, too. So here's the home controller. Um, notice that this object is self instantiated or instantiated within its own file. Okay, so I, I want to point out something early, too this is an open-end system. It's intended to give its users complete core control. Okay, so one of the punchlines, and I wrote about this in the documentation, is if you don't like something, change it, otherwise leave it alone. Okay, so that's how it works. That's the idea here. That's what I wanted to go with. So what's going on? We've got three public fields. We instantiate various objects and a runtime method basically okay and we have our universal loader like I said and we would then construct our I'm sorry we would instantiate our model now notice we're not constructing um, some base model or we're not extending to some you know parent or anything like that and notice that we're not using the you know base controller system we simply have a controller that acts as glue and that's one way to think about it okay we then construct and again if you don't like something change it that's how that's how you're going to enable the most control here or that's how i intend to okay so then we have our model and then the helper will get to this in a moment okay so here's that runtime what's happening and that's how our page is compiled. Now, let's just start by, well, let's look at the home first, and then we'll break this down and go through it. Here, I'm using an image method and an HTML helper. And that's just intended to be the straight-up welcome home page that comes with it, okay? And that way, in all these different components, there's hints as to how to go further. Okay, and how to create new models, new controllers, new views, new anything. Okay, so that's the idea. Let's go back to our controller and break this down. Let's comment out a bunch of this. Yeah, that looks good. And we'll get rid of our footer. Basically, I'll just prime you by saying I removed our header that can take data as well and I removed our helper so what we've got going on now is we're using our model we're calling a method in our model called home page data now let's look at our model it's we haven't done that yet so basically our models are code bases okay and here's how the system's portable if you want to take your objects elsewhere where well then there you go it's conforming to the OOP standard. Okay, and I also left this database in here to show you that 
I have an accessible there's an accessible object to any model that you create okay and if you don't want it don't use it okay so if you've got a page that's all static data you don't need your database and your database object can have right now I have one method that re returns a MySQL I connection that's just for my de development stuff but you could have you could easily add um, various methods that connect to various databases or just a polymorphic function that delivers that information dynamic you know credentials dynamically and another thing I want to point out here about this model is that this is a fictitious query for the purpose of demonstration okay so I don't want to go over how a query is performed I want to go over what we do with the results of a query okay and here we're using the example home page data I also have another method that can be used for demonstration purposes down here if we need it. <coughs> Excuse me. Getting over a cold. <coughs> okay, sorry. I hope that wasn't too loud. Okay, so that's what's going on with the model. Let's see that in the view. Just simply that. Refresh. And there it is. Remember our view just at this point in time only has some static HTML. We commented it out our helper so let's now say remember we passed that array in let's print our we have news and dates in our model or is it yeah our array returns news and dates so let's get those values on our home page so we'll print print news some more static HTML so what's this tell you? Your front end people need to know very little, okay? Um, yeah, data and dates. Control S to save. And there it is. There's those uh, elements in that array that was returned. Okay, so that's why I wanted to use the fictitious query here. So we could actually look at how the data can be accessed within the view okay and that's all it is we could loop on that array if we wanted to okay so that's that let's look at the source uh, yeah I believe that's that's all of the source view source yep that's all it is so now let's look at this other stuff in our controller <coughs> Okay, so we can we have a CSS system set up here too, and a jQuery system. So we'll get to that. Okay, so just like we passed information to our view, we can also pass information to our headers. Now they're just statically static files. Okay, take it where you want to go. Um, so we can see how we could simply pass a title. That's easy enough. How about CSS? Well, in our public directory, we've got CSS. There's CSS and we've got main so to include a CSS file in our CSS directory we simply say data CSS main and it will be compiled for us okay so we also have you may also see here jQuery there's a jQuery version that can be updated okay and toggled if need be and so let's see let's look at how jQuery can be used we type jq okay and then the name of the JavaScript file and where is that stored well in the JavaScript directory and here's the file here's the jQuery script will run off with an anonymous function okay to make sure that it works and we'll type my script is its name my script okay and that will be passed to our header let's take a look at that we're not using our helper yet so we'll comment that out control s to save refresh and boom there our jQuery fired off alert uh, we saw that we used anonymous function there and let's take a look at the source again okay now we've got a little bit more we've got our doc type document object model here um, HTML there's the title we passed there's the jQuery library it's included and there's the JavaScript file that we specified and there's the CSS stuff 
and everything. Okay, base paths are included, and there's our view file. And it looks like we forgot to include our footer, so let's include that. And again, you can see how you can specify um, anything you need. Okay, so I'm going to remove that. And there's our footer, okay? So there we have it. Cool. So now what's this tell us again? Well, everything's departmentalized. So now let's look at the helper system. And this is how we use a helper. We said we needed to use, we constructed that object, help this helper. There's a help method that gets any helper that we need or maybe multiple, okay? And so we'll save. So here we could say, you know, f equals new HTML, f equals form, blah, blah, blah. Then we can use it that way. We could use this with the static resolution operator since we have public static functions, okay? And there we'll include our image, control S to save and refresh. So there, boom, there's our image. Let's get rid of that jQuery. We can do that simply by commenting it out. And when we refresh, it's no longer there. Okay, so that's nice. And let's also look. Let's just look at our source. Um, maybe I shouldn't do this, but we can see our jQuery is not there, only our CSS. Okay. So now let's use, let's look at another method in our HTML helper. <coughs> and say HTML and we have a form um, there's various in there but let's look at form <coughs> okay now behind the scenes here I want to point this out I've got cross-site forgery protection well this is in development um, cross-site forgery protections MySQL uh, attack prevention and field checks okay field checks is working so let's check that out um, what we take here is an action. We'll just leave it blank. Oops, it's going to try to help me when I don't need it to. A method. We'll say post. I don't like that feature of the IDE. Not at, not at all. You just got to get used to it. Okay, and then we'll just say AR and we'll define an array. And this array will take. Um, form field arrays. So we'll say here, oops, array, and we'll copy and paste. Now I've simplified this to take two parameters. So we'll say text, and we'll say a name. So we'll copy this. We'll say password say a pass for the name control us to save okay so now what this is going to do it's going to create our form for us our HTML form boom there it is and we forgot to provide uh, our button so we'll say man I don't like that IntelliSense feature at all we'll say click okay I'm down to one minute uh, I've got to wrap it up. So, control us to save. There's our form. It says click on the button, um, a name, and a button. And we can submit that. Now, one thing I want to point out, it checks for the fields to make sure you have valid fields. Refresh. There it says, huh? Uh, please check your field. Okay, so in development environment, it makes that check. Um, I guess I'll have to leave it at there. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you want to read the docs. Um, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.